You're watching the buck stops here. Another one of our top stories at a time when they've been slammed for their handling of the Muzaffar Nagar riots. There is great news for Mulayam Singh Yadav and his son. A disproportionate assets case which was filed six years ago has finally been closed. Now Mulayam supporters say this was natural. The calculation of their assets was flawed to begin with. Mulayam's opponents though have another story. This they say is being done at the behest of the Congress. The Congress controls the CBI they say. And this is all about ensuring that Mulayam remains an important ally at the center. After several flip-flops, the CBI has finally done it. A closure report in the disproportionate asset case against the government's ally, the Samajwadi party chief, Mulayam Singh Yadav and his son, Akhlesh, the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh. While the CBI says it had no other option, the Samajwadi party, whose politics since 2007 was part dictated by the case, is relieved. We that political reasons are And this was not a CBI closure report. But is this closure report yet another move driven by political considerations? Coming as it does at the end of a string of embarrassing flip-flops, right since 2007 by the CBI. On March 1st, 2007, Supreme Court ordered a CBI inquiry on a PIL alleging unaccounted wealth against Mulayam Singh Yadav and family. Samajwadi Party called the petitioner a congressman. In 2007, October, CBI told Supreme Court inquiry has proved prima facie case can be made out. In July 2008, the Samajwadi Party's 39 MPs supported the trust vote on nuclear deal. In December 2008, the CBI asked for Supreme Court's nod to withdraw its plea against Mulayam Singh Yadav and family on government direction. In March 2009, the Samajwadi Party Congress's attempt for a tie-up in Uttar Pradesh failed. In March 2009, the CBI asked Supreme Court not to continue the probe against the family. The CBI's latest move is based on two events. The Solicitor General's opinion in 2008 that the wealth of Mulayam's wife and daughter-in-law cannot be added to the assets of the leaders. And the Supreme Court order in December 2013 that endorsed that opinion. The petitioner on the verge of losing an eight-year-old battle says the disproportionate asset case has helped the UPA and the Congress. Mulayam Singh ji zarur court ko gumra karne ke liye ye kehte rahe ki Congress is sponsor Congress अगर मैं कांग्रेस स्पॉन्सर आदमी हूं तो 10 साल से सरकार किसके कंधों पे चल रही है कट मोशन जेपीसी न्यूक्लियर डील राष्ट्रपति चुनाव फूड गारंटी बिल देयर इज नो इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी और द फॉर दैट मैटर फॉर द गवर्नमेंट इन दिस केस एट ऑल ओवर द पास्ट वन डेकेड द कांग्रेस एंड द समाजवादी पार्टी हैव शेयर्ड अ रिलेशनशिप व्हिच कैन बी टर्म्ड वर्चुअल पॉलिटिकल स्किज़ोफ्रेनिया बिटर राइवल्स इन उत्तर प्रदेश एलाइज इन इंडियन पार्लियामेंट Samajwadi Party on several critical occasions has attacked the UPA government but then thwarted the opposition's attempts to mobilize greater numbers against the UPA. That is why the opposition has called Mulayam Singh Yadav and Mayawati's disproportionate asset cases as the Congress's insurance policy. Ultimately, the union government has made it a policy to tighten the screws when they want and to loosen the screws when they want, that way. But now, closure of a case is just the last nail in this coffin and it proves that the Congress party will go to any extent to remain in power. Once its leaders are free in the case, Samajwadi party politics is expected to change, though the party is denying it right now. It rules out any tie-up with the Congress in the wake of the closure, but is still guarded in its attack, a sign that the party is not lowering its defences, as it is not certain that the CBI's closure report is the end of an eight-year-old recurring political-legal nightmare. With Arunachalam Vaidyanathan and Sunil Prabhu, Rahul Srivastav for NDTV. And let's go straight across to Rahul Srivastava, who's been tracking this story very closely all day. Rahul, uh, the point that you were mentioning in your story is the point that really strikes one. That the, the, the equation between the Samajwadi party is a dichotomous equation. On the one hand, just in the last few days, as far as Muzaffar Nagar is concerned, you've got Congress leaders slamming the Samajwadi party. And now we see this particular case against Mulayam closed. 
how does this potentially benefit the Congress at the center immediately or is this a long term sort of pension a guarantee about 2014? Vishnu, the, right now the political circles are abuzz with the fact that this is a quid pro quo. What they are saying that for what has transpired over the last few months in terms that every time the Congress needed the Samajwadi party in terms of number or tactical support against the opposition's consolidation on any issue, the Samajwadi party has emerged and helped the Congress party on the floor of the house and even outside. And that is why uh, it's, it's being said that for whatever the Samajwadi party's has help has extended over the last few months, the Congress has paid back. But Vishnu, very serious questions. If one actually takes away the political quotient from this entire episode of the DA case, then where does the CBI stand? Can the CBI really explain how it acted and why it acted? I have virtually every document in the case. On, the, uh, on one date in October 2007, the CBI says we can proceed. There should be no interference from the state government and the government should not be submitted a copy. Then in March 2008, it says that we want hasty hearing, quick hearing for a quick disposal. Then comes the status report. Vishnu, it has details of Mulayam Singh Yadav's every purchase the family has made, furniture, clothing, electronic items, all that bought by the family over the last few years. The CBI submitted this status report. Then came the nuclear deal. Right after that, the CBI says the central government has directed that we should withdraw our earlier plea that we want to proceed. Then comes another twist to the tale that when the tie-up with the government, Samajwadi party fails in UP, the CBI says we do want to proceed. We want to take our old application back. Right. The CBI has a lot of explaining to do that if there was no political interference, then why was the CBI doing all this acting in contrary manners and that is why if today there is a closure report the opposition and others are targeting the government that there is certainly some kind of a quid pro quo well let's see what the court has to say about this closure report it has to go to a court uh, for the court to decide rahul thanks very much for joining us with those points let's go straight uh, back to prakash javrekar and uh, sanjay jha who joined me at this stage mr javrekar do you see this as being an open and shut case that this is a case of the congress putting its thumb on the CBI and saying withdraw these cases. We know these cases have been going on now for a very long time. From 2007 we have seen this case go on. This is the double deal on the eve of elections. The double deal is two, twofold. One, that this is the quid pro quo as explained by Rahul that whatever on every crisis Samajwadi party helped Congress. And even Mulayam Singh last year said it in Parliament, in Lok Sabha, in his speech that I will not say this because CBI Kalaiga. He, he said further that Congress is using CBI at their will. And not only once, at five times he has said this, every year he has said this. And every year Congress has taken this Congress led, Congress sponsored, Congress Bureau of Investigation has taken turns, U-turns, those many day, times. And second is, now, why now? Because the nation is debating Muzaffar Nagar. Mm -hmm. Muzaffar Nagar is the worst communal right we are witnessing. And 104 rights in 18 months. And that is why, to divert the attention, it is the joint program of Congress and Samajwadi Party that they want to bail out Mulayam Singh Yadav. Sanjay Jha reply to that very specific point. The, the effort of the Congress at this stage is to divert attention from what is happening in Muzaffar Nagar. The Congress is trying to help out its ally at the center, the Samajwadi Party. Um, you know, Vishnu, I think it's an outrageous comment. I think it needs to be very severely condemned and I'm going to do so on your channel. I mean, you have a communal riot in, in uh, Uttar Pradesh. It still is at a dangerous situation. There are problems that, you know, we need to contain before they escalate. Mr. Pagas Javdekar's party has been instrumental. His own party, MLAs, have been arrested. And he believes that no. at this point, the CBI, working as an independent body, has closed a case because it wants to divert attention from Muzaffar Nagar. I mean, that's the most, you know, ridiculous statement I've heard in a long, long time. And let me remind Mr. Prakash Javdekar, I mean, these are the basics. If the petitioner happens to be a congressman, as alleged by Mulan, 
Mulayam Singh Aap Yadav. I mean, you know, isn't it contradictory by itself that, you know, the Congress would try and bail it out? And, you know, one is tired and exhausted of this needless media posturing done by the BJP to call it a Congress Bureau of Investigation. I'm repeating that. This is an outright and blatant lie to mislead the people of this country. When uh, Vishnu, there's an investigation done on Naveen Jindal, it's, it's perfectly fine. When Mr. Pawan Bansal is asked question, it's perfectly fine. When, yeah, when Mr. Ashwini Jindal. Kumar is asked questions, it's perfectly fine. One minute, I'm asking you a question here. You know, I think, I think Mr. Javdekar, you, you need to tell the people of India what you did with Tehelka yes, using your CBI force. You need to tell the people of India how you used the CBI special court to get your famous Mr. L.K. Advani off the Babri Masjid demolition case. You need to tell the people of India how a famous CBI director under your great Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee was shunted out of the job when he investigated a big business house in Mumbai. So let us not get into moral grandstanding here. The truth, Vishnu, and I'll put it down here, is a disproportionate assets case. It has got nothing to do with the Congress party. The CBI functions independently. Actually, I don't even know why I'm sitting here in the program, but I did anticipate that the BJP will raise some questions. But the bottom line is, and this is the crux of the matter, this case would have closed closed at some point one way or the other. And as you rightly mentioned, it's got to go to court. So whether it would have closed three years from now or two years from now, if the Samajwadi party would be with us at some point in the center in a coalition, the same allegations would surface. Okay, Mr. Javdekar, reply to all of those points. You're, you're selectively criticizing no the point. Congress. There is, there is no point made out by my friend Sanjay Jha because a, he has not replied to the criticism of right. Congress by Mulayam Singh Yadav. Mulayam Singh Yadav five times in Lok Sabha, in this Lok Sabha. And I have heard, everybody has heard, there is tape. Well, what has Mayawati has said, said that Congress... Excuse me, what has Mayawati said about you? Mayawati has alleged that the CBI Maya... was used to bulldoze her because she refused to partner with you in the elections. Can you please answer that? It's in no, the public actually, domain. For heaven's sake, the, you can't no, deny that. Let me read, let me read, let me read. No, no, <laughs> you can't go like this. I will tell you, Mayawati, actually, if we would have used CBI, and if we would have interfered in CBI inquiry, she would have been with us. Okay. But we oh. refused to interfere. Oh.